Welcome back everyone, it's Stu42 with another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about construction foam. So, construction foam I've been using to build my nuclear room, or help help build it. It seems to make a pretty nice surface. You can paint it all sorts of colours, mobs don't seem to spawn on it. Uh, the other thing that it is really useful for is you can make uh, reinforced stone out of it. And if you're going to make the mass fabricator or the replicator or scanner, um, one of those, or a couple of those, I think, actually needs the reinforced stone uh, in its construction. So, what's changed with construction foam? Well, these days it is now a liquid. So, I have this set up with these two canning machines here. Now, water comes in to this one, and we have it set to this mode. Now, there's this fluid and rich mode. So, what happens is you pipe water on one side, you have CF powder in the middle, and then it'll output this construction foam liquid. So I have this pretty pretty simply set up. It's pretty smart. The water just goes straight into there. My export bus is set to export CF powder with a move single items craft. Now the CF powder um, it's pretty easy to make. It's it's made using that stone dust, and I think you remember last time I went over these thermal centrifuges. <coughs> excuse me, and um, said that they outputted stone dust as a byproduct of your ores, uh, and this is where it's used. It's used for the CF powder. So we've got a few upgrades, just a transformer because I run out of higher power, uh, overclocker upgrade, and this fluid ejector upgrade. Now the fluid ejector upgrade lets me put this next block right next to it and this is set to fill cell from tank mode and this just is filled with construction foam so I've got down here a CF sprayer and a CF backpack as you can see they're not quite full I've used them just the, the tiniest bit so this one needs another hundred uh, millibuckets to fill up so if I put that in there it'll take a hundred millibuckets out of here there you go dip and we've got our sprayer back, and likewise with the, the backpack. I don't automate filling the backpack or the sprayer. I never know how much is going to be left in each one, so I just I come down here and, and fill it up. I usually put the sprayer in first and then put the backpack. It'll fill eight buckets at a time, and uh, not quite enough to <laughs> spark another one of those to go. Um, if if this is completely empty, it'll just keep running and running and running until it's full. So you don't have to keep taking it out and putting it in, taking it out and putting it in. You, you can just leave this in here empty. It'll use the whole thing up and then it'll just wait until it's full um, and I come back at a later stage. So what's different in terms of using these? Well, one of the biggest changes is... Let me just run upstairs. One of the biggest changes is how you make reinforced stone. You can no longer craft it. So you've got this scaffold here, which you can use as a, as a ladder as well. Um, I don't really need to because I've got my, my jetpack on. Um, and then we've got this iron scaffold. So iron scaffold, if I would just place a few, a few down. Now, if we switch, let's just get the sprayer, we'll put the backpack on. So if we go to the sprayer, there's a couple of modes. So I usually point into the sky when uh, when I'm doing the modes. So if you hold down your mode switch key, uh, I think by default it's set to M, which conflicts with you know map and a whole bunch of things. I change mine to the apostrophe. But if you hold that down and right click, you'll see that that mode changes between normal and single. Normal and single. So if we're in single mode and we shoot one of these, just right click, boom it'll drop the scaffold and put a single block of construction foam out. If we change it to normal mode, this will spray over as many as it can get. And as you can see, we can walk through it. That will hurt us eventually though. Um, we'll do all three of those. Now with the iron scaffold, if we do those, they won't drop the scaffold blocks. And the reason will be clear in a second. Uh, if you spray this just normally you get a big blob of it um, but I have found that if you spray it spray it straight down you'll get a perfectly flat area so if you're doing a big floor or something you can just walk around like this pointing down 
and as you can see it just makes a nice flat area and that'll solidify into hard stone um, you can break it really easily but you get nothing back uh, once these things solidify into stone like like this one here let's just let's I'll show you a, the uh, painting so here's what I've got you just right click it it makes it that color pretty easy um, again when you break it a bit harder to break than the foam but you get nothing back now uh, those two should harden into uh, into the reinforced concrete very shortly. Just while we're waiting for that though, I thought I might give you a, a quick sneak peek into what I have been working on. And that is this uh, nuclear building. I actually have the reactor running. So I won't go into it in detail right now. Needless to say, that reactor is running. Um, I've got a few lights hooked up telling me what it's doing. So this one's currently in overheat mode, which means it's not working. Um, it automatically I've got a bit of a weird design in there. Um, oh, there we go. It's now cooled back down. The yellow means it's on. Blue means it's cool. Um, and that's fully automated. Um, at the moment, if we go back out to our to our screen, 880 EU per tick. So you can see the temperature there. I don't know if you can see that from here. Let's. Oh, I don't have my. Uh, there we go. So it's now off, zero output. Um, the reason for that also is there's an MFSU that it is filling. Uh, once that reaches a certain charge level, it's actually stopping, um, just so that I don't waste any power. Um, and then when the charge drops, as my processing and everything uses the power, this will turn back on. But yeah, so at the moment, it's, it's set to 880 EU per tick. I've got a few bugs to iron out of it first. Uh, the theoretical design that I have is, sort of 2400 or thereabouts EU per tick. I'm not sure if that's what I'll settle with there. Are, as I said, there's a few bugs um, in the system uh, to do with making it fully automatic. There we go, 880 again. Um, a couple of hours to go on that. All right, so we've now got the reinforced stone that's uh, been made. Now I'm using a, a man manilin pick, manilin pick, <laughs> whatever that metal's called, which is supposed to be one of the hardest picks. It's not the fastest, but it is one of the hardest. And as you can see, it's taken a long time to break. But when you break the reinforced stone, you do get the brick back. Unlike, you know, unlike, unlike these ones that just, just break everywhere. So that's um, that's project. I just wanted to go over the construction foam. As as you can see, I've used it in this building quite heavily. Uh, I may use it again. It it's pretty strong. The mobs don't seem to spawn on it, as I said, and uh, it looks a lot better than your usual giant cobble structures that you that you end up with. All right, that's it for me. See you next time.